There's Phil Helmuth filling the empty seat at the TV table. Mr. Helmuth showing some unexpected gallantry for a bunch of guys he intends to try to slay and quarter. <laughs> it's always friendly until the cards are dealt. Blinds are now 1 and 2,000. And Helmuth's first hand, he's found a bullet. Squeezing, but the ace three's not much. Well, but Phil usually plays just about any ace. He really likes to play a lot of hands. He's he's just in there jamming away. He hasn't even stacked his chips yet, but limping in, calling the opening 2,000 bet. And we are around to the magician on the button. Esfandieri considering his options. He can call, raise, or fold. Chooses the latter. But TJ will have a peak. And we are three way for this flop. Phil Gordon's in for free with the queen five. Not much help for anyone, but TJ's got a bit of a draw there. He has actually what we call a double belly buster. He can make a straight with either a queen or an eight. Two cards in the middle, but it's Helmuth who's made a bet. And TJ's called here. Let's see what happens. Ace brings a third spade, and it's paired Helmuth. There's TJ's heart rate. It's going up. That's a very interesting card. It gives Helmuth a pair of aces. It also gives TJ a flush draw to go along with his double belly buster straight draw. TJ's got nothing yet, but lots of possibilities. The 7,000 bet is called by Phil quickly. Here's the last card. It's a spade. That's a pretty amazing card. It gives Helmuth two pair also, aces and threes. And a flush always beats two pair. I think TJ's going to feel pretty confident here because he's got the third best hand possible. The only cards that can beat him is if Helmuth has the queen of spades or the jack of spades. The bet was four light gray chips. That's $20,000. You win, Phil. TJ called, you win. He must have overlooked his hand. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I forgot oh, I had the ten of spades. Oh, God. Wow. I forgot I had the ten of spades. I didn't bring oh, it I saw it. I he saw didn't know he had it. He didn't say anything. I'm looking. I'm saying, is he going to lay this down? I never even looked wow. back. TJ. I knew I had ten nine. I didn't look <laughs> back. Right here. Yeah. They're going to give TJ the money. The money. Uh, I never looked back. Right? Slow rolled, you. Yeah. You ever seen me slow roll in my life? Huh? He I even said I'm not your hand. Phil can't believe it. He thought he won. Howard, can you clarify this? This is unbelievable. One of the all-time great tournament players in the history of the game overlooked his hand, and then Phil Helmuth accused him of, of slow rolling, which is to intentionally misstate your hand to let your opponent think he was going to win, and then you show him the winner. A brutal thing to do. I don't think TJ did that. I'm, I'm mortally certain he didn't do that. TJ Cloutier will do everything in his power to steal every last chip on this table. He's got tons of larceny in his heart. He won't disrespect the rules. Absolutely not. But, you know, Phil is just upset here. He actually took a great read. He put T.J. Cloutier on a bluff. He's a great reader of people, and he was right. T.J. was bluffing. He just forgot he had the flush. People will never understand on the American public what just happened. The guy tried to bluff $20,000. <laughs> I knew he was bluffing, picked it off perfectly. And then he turned out that he uh, overlooked his hand. That's the sickest thing. Even old men have just had their head cut off and make mistakes. <laughs> You know, that's actually some gallows humor there from T.J. Cloutier. He's showing tremendous courage even playing in this tournament. He recently had some surgery. He's, he's had some health problems. He's still playing great. You just got to hand it to him. No, I would have been the nuts. You didn't need that hand. I know I didn't. It's just, it's not that. It's just that you bluff me and I know you're bluffing. That's all. But you forget, you started off bluffing, and I thought you might be bluffing. I wasn't bluffing at ace-high aces. It's I had you beat at all times. On the flop, you were bluffing at that. I had ace-high. I understand. That's not a bluff. 
David Benjamin, the Frenchman, hasn't heard so much whining since he took a holiday weekend in Bordeaux. <laughs> Two great players in the battle. Well, that was great. These are see two champions. <laughs> one didn't know what he had. The, the other one, the other one, the other one, one he's other on one the floor. Yeah, he, he fell. <laughs> TJ, How's this for a pizza there table? is so much injustice in what just happened. Let's see. Right. Phil, we have three uh, words for you. Sick. Let it go. Man, I picked him off. Bill, I'm supposed to play. Bill, Bill, if it was reversed, do you think I'd still be talking about it? Probably not. Or do you, think I, uh, you think I would have talked about it one iota? PJ, you know I love you. I know that. More handshaking. There's just no justice. This may be the most chivalrous table in the history of poker.